reminds me of a story, actually a story of a priest. His name, Father Jacinto. Father was finishing celebrating Mass, and he was putting away the vessels back into the sacristy, like the chalice and the ciborium. As he was putting away the vessels, he heard a lot of noise outside of his church. So he goes to a window, and he looks out the window, and what does he see? He sees a gang of men, and they're literally burning people's houses down, stealing from stores, and they were attacking and killing people. And worst of all, Father noticed that that gang of men, they were approaching his church. So the first thing that Father did, he got the key to the tabernacle, and he opened the tabernacle and took out the ciborium. The ciborium is what holds the Holy Eucharist. He did not want them to desecrate the Blessed Sacrament. By the way, that's one of the worst sins anyone can commit. So he took the ciborium out, and he most likely exited the opposite way that this gang of men that they were approaching. So he goes out and exits his church. But as he was exiting the church, he heard a voice, and it was a voice of a woman. And the woman said, Son, you forgot me. So Father Jacinto maybe thought to himself, my mom, she's like 70 miles away. How is it that I can hear my mom right now? But he didn't want anyone to get hurt. So he comes back into the church looking for this woman that said that, but he didn't see anyone. So maybe he thought I was just hearing something. So he exits the church a second time and as he was exiting again, he heard the voice of the woman say this, Son, do not leave me to your enemies. So as he was hearing the voice, he was looking around, and he noticed that the statue of Mary was talking to him. So I'm sure Father probably thought something like this, if Mary tells me to do something, I better do it. Yes, that's good advice. So he already has Jesus in the Eucharist in one hand, in the ciborium, and now he has to take the statue of Mary in his other hand. Oh, by the way, that statue was made out of alabaster. Now, I don't know much about the sciences, but that sounds very heavy. So here he is now holding two objects, and he's trying to get to safety. Now, eventually that gang of men, they spot him, or they spot the statue of Mary. It's usually white or blue. And they start to run after him to kill him. So Father's trying to get to safety, and eventually he approaches a river. And the river's current or its streams are very strong. And now he has some choices. He could try to swim across this river, holding this heavy statue of Mary, and most importantly, Jesus in the Eucharist, and most likely drown, not having his arms available to swim across. He could have just put the Blessed Sacrament or the statue of Mary on the ground and try to swim across that way. Maybe he was an Olympic swimmer before he joined the priesthood. Probably not, though. Or he could have just tried to reason with these people. But some people are just unreasonable. And based on what he saw outside of his church, that certainly was the case. So what did he do? Well, he did something I hope all of you do if you're ever in this situation. He prayed in what we call Eucharistic adoration. The fact of the matter is Jesus was in his hands. And I'm sure he said a prayer to Mary, something like, Mother, you told me to take your statue outside of the church. I'm about to die, so please help me. So after that, guess what happens? The river's current, or its streams, completely stop. 
obviously a sign from God. So here he is holding this heavy statue of Mary and Jesus in the Eucharist, and he's crossing this river. And eventually he gets to the other side, and after he crosses the river, that gang of men, they finally catch up to him. And they're about to step foot in that river, but guess what happens? The river's current or its streams begin again. And they're too chicken, or they're too scared to try to chase after Father, knowing that they would most likely drown. Now, it may have seemed like I just made up that story. That story is a story of a saint. His name is Saint Hyacinth. Jacinto is a Spanish version of his name. Saint Hyacinth belonged to the Order of Preachers, also known as the Dominicans. If you ever see a statue or a picture of Saint Hyacinth, he will be holding two objects, usually a very large statue of Mary and Jesus in the Eucharist. That was Kiev in Ukraine, and Saint Hyacinth is one of the apostles of Poland. Now, why do I tell you a story as such, especially in the context of a parish mission? Well, first, it shows us that true devotion to Mary always leads us to the Eucharist. But most importantly, it shows you if you want a miracle in your life, then offer Holy Communion for that intention. If you know someone that has lost their faith, maybe a family member or your friend that no longer goes to church, what is one of the best things you can do for them to help them get back on their path to heaven? Pray a Eucharistic holy hour of adoration in reparation for their sins. If you want your spouse and your children to become saints, what is the best way to help them with that intention? Dedicate your life to the Eucharist. By far, the Eucharist is the greatest gift that God has given to us as Catholics because the Eucharist is Jesus himself. 